That was Minecraft's Error 422, capable of scaring any player to death. In this video, I'll tell the story about how I fell into a version of Minecraft that isn't even on record. It's December, it gets cold and dark pretty quickly, but I'm in my warm room when I stumble upon a weird Minecraft page. There's a list of random Minecraft things, but Minecraft version error 422 sticks out to me more than anything else. Here, let me read this blog post to you. When Minecraft is being updated, they have versions of the game that are in progress or in development. These versions are also known as lost versions, and they are to never be played on by the public. The page wasn't giving me enough, so I googled it out of curiosity, and what came back was remarkable. Era 422 is the lost and scariest version of Minecraft. It was a snapshot rumoured to be Minecraft 2, including intelligent AI capable of creating real-time in-game problems. In this version, all possible game codes were rewritten from scratch, but something went wrong. The game, as it were, came to life and began to, well, do as it wished. Now, in my time of playing Minecraft, I've never heard of such a thing, but that wasn't going to stop me. I opened a new tab and googled Minecraft Error 422 download. At first, nothing promising popped up and in fact, it took me a while, but I eventually came across a download link. At this point, I'm so invested, I take the leap. Let's download it. As I'm waiting for the file to download, I come across a new piece of information. You see, when searching up Error 422, it also brings up a developer document, which has nothing to do with Minecraft, but which defines Error 422 as an unprocessable entity. In fact, here, have a read for yourself. Did you catch that? To put it simply, from what I understand, and I'm no computer genius, the error understands your behavior, but is unable to process it. If this relates anywhere near to the version of Minecraft, it would mean this Minecraft version has a real half mind of its own. To add to this fact, at one point this game disappeared completely, as if it never existed, nowhere on the internet to be found, and not a single place to download it. But here it was, with the download complete and the game ready to be launched. I double clicked on the shortcut and waited a second, for what was to come next would take me completely by surprise. The starting screen popped up and, well, I've never seen anything quite like it before. The game looked familiar in layout, but unique in a disturbing way, with the Minecraft logo glitching out every so often and the usual peaceful menu music being replaced with an eerie white noise. Here, have a listen. Creepy right? Well, after some careful investigating, I hit single player and moved towards the create world menu which greeted me with a bedrock background, with create new world being the only glitching option. For some reason, the choice of changing the game to anything but survival also wasn't possible, almost as if the game had carefully planned out its way to trap me. I decided at this point, whatever this version of Minecraft had installed for me, I was ready, and hit the create world button. The world loaded up and I spawned in a jungle biome, but that wasn't the first thing I noticed. My health and hunger bar were glitching, in a similar fashion to how the starting menu was. But either way, I started playing Minecraft as one does, collecting wood, cooking food, and upgrading my tools. But as I was crafting, I realized some of the items in my inventory were also randomly appearing with glitched out names. To add to this, the items were also not stacking into groups of more than 5, 7, or 9. I'm not sure if it's a hidden code or clue of some sort, but my best guess is that this was the game's way of restricting me. I kept moving. Things felt unusually normal, or at least for now but I would later learn that the game was studying my every move, taking its time in observing my behavior. Now, being lost in this jungle, I decided the best thing to do was to find some high ground where I could get a proper look at my surroundings. I noticed a tall tree in the distance, sitting on a rather high hill, and made the decision to head over there. I made my way there carefully whilst it got darker, but this all felt wrong, as if I wasn't even supposed to be playing. I got up to the hill and started scaling the tree, but when I got to the top, I was in total shock, because ahead of me was a desert, but the cacti were floating mid-air, as if they were trying to point me in a certain direction. But it was about to get a lot weirder. All of a sudden, I had a speed boost buff, as I sat on top of this high tree surrounded by darkness, almost as if whoever gave it to me wanted me to either miss my step and fall to my death, or to hurry and run towards the floating cacti. I decided to wait for the speed buff to wear out and for the sun to rise again, before making my move over to the desert. Morning arrived and the view of the cacti was unmissable. These things were scattered all along the skyline. I quickly made my way over 
to the desert, but whilst doing so, I noticed animals being stuck within jungle bushes. Is this normal? Either way, I set some free and kept moving. I crossed the last jungle bush and entered the strange desert. I was in total fascination. Seeing the floating cactus from the treetops was definitely something, but being directly underneath was unbelievable. Everywhere in the sky within a 300 block radius, or maybe even more, was entirely covered. I made my way over to the sand temple that I had spotted earlier in hopes of finding new clues. The walls of the sand temple used wool. I thought crafting a bed wouldn't hurt. Clearly, I was wrong. It was almost as if I had tried to sleep in the nether. One entire side of the sand temple was completely torn to shreds. Right, hold on a second. I wanted to know more about this version of the game and where it originated from. I went back to the original download site looking for clues of some sort and stumbled upon a description. According to the uploader, there was a boy named Eren who was in class when a sudden strange account name messaged him out of nowhere with a link to a Minecraft video. The video was titled Minecraft ERR422, followed by four random two-digit numbers. In the description, there was a link to download a file that was untranslatable to him. As it turned out later, it was not just a file, but the most terrifying version of Minecraft that he would regret opening. And then the story just stops there. Wait, what? Yeah, it just stops there. I got back to playing the game and pushed on, knowing the game didn't want me to sleep, so I went exploring instead. However, smaller weirder things continued to happen, such as when I chose to build a small cabin, blocks would be replaced with other objects, or when cooking food in a furnace, I would randomly be hit by absolutely nothing. But my exploring came to a stop when I came across a rather empty desert village. Of course, this place was littered with floating cacti and other desert plants, but I felt safe here, so I started toying around, trying to interact with whatever this error truly was. I started placing blocks in a flurry, in an attempt to see what the other items it would shape into, and it worked. I had wood turning into iron pressure plates, seeds on sand, and a wooden staircase. I quickly got bored and picked up my blocks, and continued entering the different village houses, and then I started taking damage. I looked around and then checked my inventory. I had been poisoned. Weird, but not unexpected. I was having too much fun with this, and the game clearly didn't like it to the point of when I decided to mine up dirt to once again try my luck with the random block replacement. This happened. I would be lying if I said that I didn't feel startled, because at that moment, I finally understood what Era 422 truly was. The computer definition, the story, it all made sense. This version really had a mind of its own, and there was nothing I could do about it. I watched as my screen filled up with error codes and my glitched out screen closed itself out, and then being greeted with a simple black screen that I'd never seen before. As much as I would have liked to poke around more, I was done with this game version. I had my fun. It was time to go. Once I'd managed to close the Minecraft version, I've never uninstalled something so fast. If you enjoyed this video, check out the video on screen where I tell the story of how my Minecraft account was hacked, sold, and stolen.